Boom, Supersonic hopes to bring back Supersonic Flight with its Overture, a four-engined aircraft that will fly at supersonic speeds on select portions of its flight. With an estimated entry into service date of 2029, the company is hopeful that a first flight can be achieved in the coming years, with the rollout of the very first Overture naturally being even sooner. If you haven't already, do subscribe to Globetrotting at DJ's Aviation. We are very close to 1,000 subscribers right before our launch. Of course, though, as such an important project for the company, many problems do exist for Boom, and the issues have only increasingly become more present and something I've documented quite extensively here on the channel. The company unveiled a massive redesign at this year's edition of the 2022 Farnborough Air Show. The new design completely changed what we knew about Overture and added a fourth engine to the mix from the initial three. In addition, the company announced further vital partnerships with other companies to help develop the world's first overture. However, away from the announcement, one of their closest partners up until that point had been Rolls-Royce, what many believed would be the engine manufacturer for the company's supersonic aircraft. What has to be mentioned is the hopes and aspirations of this quickly faded away, as around a week ago, Rolls-Royce walked away from their partnership with the company, and at the end of it, no engine was selected from Boom Supersonic. It left Boom in a bit of a challenging position, to which their CEO continues to downplay, assuring us that we will find out more about an engine partner this year. For the past five years, though, we've heard similar continued promises that do fall through from engine partners to specific engine decisions that would be selected and formally announced. Of course, today we sit coming towards the end of 2022 and the reality is no engine has been selected. Of course, after years of discussions with Rolls-Royce, nothing came to avail. How many companies though are willing to put their foot in such a risky investment of their time that is Overture? The answer is not many. And therein lies the exact problem. According to comments from many different engine manufacturers and even Rolls-Royce's statement themselves upon leaving their partnership, the risk of investing in such an aircraft is simply not worth it. They've already been dealt several new blows with multiple leading engine manufacturers openly coming out and noting they have no interest in partnering with the company, focusing on other projects that obviously will benefit them far greater than working with Boom on the Overture. It leaves Boom with very few options. GE Aviation, Honeywell and Saffron Aviation Engines have joined the growing list noting they have no plans to invest and or work as per a report from Flight Global on an engine. In addition, while not openly mentioned in this Flight Global report, according to Leham News on Twitter, Pratt & Whitney are also not interested. None of this should come as a surprise to you, if you want my honest opinion. There have always been more questions than answers surrounding the company and project, and that is why comments from Delta's CEO, Ed Bastian, were applauded so greatly. He refused to invest, unlike that of United and American Airlines, saying that he needed his questions answered, and up until that point, they hadn't been. In recent months, those questions have become more prominent, and with the company still, without an engine, it highlights the ongoing situation. Even with the current orders, none of it can happen without an engine. It fundamentally is an essential part, and that's not the only area of their issues. It even stretches towards the sustainable aviation fuel conundrum and the difficulty of sourcing the amount they would burn and go through with every single flight. It's almost too much talk, not enough action. And in the business world, yes, that's definitely a quick fire way to get investors if you go about it the right way. But it's also a quick fire way to lose them if you can't hold up your end of the bargain. To Jam Stefan, Neil Don, Al Walid, Jaden Elliott, Will Austin 9, Leslie, Daniel, and Got to Cast with B. Thanks for being cabin crew members here on the channel. If you have any thoughts at all on the various problems that Boom Supersonic are experiencing with their overture, including, of course, the feature piece being on the engines, do let me know below in the comments. As always, thanks very much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Do take care, and I will see you tomorrow for more content.